A body consists of a solid hemisphere of radius 3 cm joined to a solid right circle cone of base radius 3 cm and perpendicular height 8 cm. The plane surfaces of the cone and the hemisphere coincide and both solids are made of the same uniform material. Find the position of the centre of gravity of the body. So, first of all, you're drawing a diagram. So here we have a cone joined with a hemisphere. We have the radius here of three centimeter, three meters, sorry, and the height here of eight meters. I'll talk about G one and G two in a minute. Okay, so first, before we can do this problem, we've got to find the uh, mass of the cone and the mass of the hemisphere, and also the combined mass. Now, in order to do that. So we'll call this one M1G, uh, this is the cone. We've got to use the idea that mass is equal to volume times rho. Rho is the uh, density. Okay, we won't actually need to know the density of the material. Now, the, the material has the same density, so we're okay for both, for both parts. So the volume of a cone is one-third pi r squared h times, uh, so the, and if we multiply it by the density, that will give it to be the mass. So that's going to be one third times pi times the radius times three squared times eight times rho. We don't need to worry about this rho because it will eventually cancel out. Now for the hemisphere, well, for a sphere, it's four thirds pi r cubed. So we want half of that. So it'll be a half times four thirds pi r cubed times rho in order to make it mass rather than volume. And that will be two thirds, one half times uh, four thirds is one two thirds, pi times three cubed uh, times rho. Now, if we combine these two formulas together, so it will be one third of pi r squared h rho plus two thirds of pi r cubed uh, Rho, there's a common factor of one third pi r squared, which will leave a 2r in the brackets plus an h here. So it's to be an h from here and a 2r from here, obviously multiplying by rho. Right, now the distance of the center of gravity of a cone from its base, and these are normally given in an exam, is h over 4, which is going to be 8 over 4 in this case, which is a 2 because the height is 8. And for the centre of gravity from its base here for a hemisphere is 3r over 8. So that will be 3 times 3 over 8, which is 9 over 8. We will need to know that in order to be able to take the moment. So going to this uh, diagram here. OK, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take moments. about the plane base where both shapes coincide. So that will be uh, one third of pi times three squared times eight rho times g, because it's the weight, times the distance here, which is actually two, which we just worked out. And then for now, because this is above where we're taking moments, we're taking moments about this point here, around this plane here. So down here it will be negative, so we'll need to take it away. So that will be 2 thirds pi times 3 cubed times rho times g, which is the weight of the hemisphere, times the distance here, which is going to be 9 over 8. Now that will be equal to the total mass times g for gravity, uh, so total weight times y bar, where y bar is going to be the distance from the, the plane here to the point or cell of centre of gravity that we're trying to find. OK, doing a bit of counselling now, because the g's will cancel out. And then if we work out 1 third times 3 squared times 8 times 2, we get 48 pi times rho still. OK, and then take away 2 thirds times 3 cubed times 9 eighths will give me 81 over 4, and we'll don't forget the pi, times rho. Now the mass, total mass from before, is going to be 1 third of pi r squared times h plus 2r times rho. Right, so now actually the rho 
times, uh, sorry, times the center position of the center of gravity that we're trying to find, the vertical one on the axis. The rows will cancel out and also the pi's will cancel out. That's good. Okay, so if we do 48 minus 81 over 4, we're going to get 111 over 4. And here we will need to put in some numbers. So we're going to get 1 third times 3 squared brackets 8 times plus, sorry, 2 times 3 times my uh, vertical component, uh, vertical coordinate of the uh, center of gravity or center of mass I'm trying to find. Now, when I work this out, so I've got 111 over 4, I just get 42 times uh, y bar, and therefore y bar will be 37 over 56 metres, or 0 0.661 metres. Okay, so if we now go to a different diagram, that will be of that position, which where this is 37 over 56 metres. But this position can actually change depending on the size of H and R. So we'll try and give the centre of gravity from this point up here. So the centre of gravity on the axis of symmetry, which is this line here, will be such that 8, because the height is 8, minus what we just found, 37 over 56, which is approximately equal to 7.34 metres from the tip of the cone. And then if this was negative, obviously it would go uh, lo lower from the tip of the cone. We could still do it that way. Now, to go with this uh, video, I've made this GeoGebra app. Now, you won't be able to see too well in the video, but the link of the GeoGebra app will be in the uh, notes of this video. So here is the GeoGebra app. OK, so you can see here, uh, if I click on a few things, uh, obviously it's a bit small for you to see, but that, that will give the information about the distances, and this will give the final answer, so you can see it here on here. But the uh, good thing is, of course, you could actually move this around and have a look at it at different angles, but it's better to please look at it on the actual GeoGebra app as well. And the sliders, you can use find it for different heights and different radius, radii, sorry. Okay, so I hope hope, hope you've uh, have enjoyed this video, and um, don't forget the GeoGebra app is in the link of the video, and I thank you very much for watching.